So Berkeley begins to slowly fill, uh, fill up, but we're, we are part of Royal Oak Township. And in 1923, what happens is people living around here, they begin to be afraid that they're gonna be annexed by the big city of Royal Oak. And that's the last thing they, they want. And this is partly due to of taxes, you know, so much is due to money. So a group of people from the International Order of the Odd Fellows, goes to Pontiac and gets the paperwork to make us a village. And there's a vote and then Berkeley becomes the village of Berkeley in 1923. And then years go by and it does become the city of Berkeley in 1932. But Berkeley slowly fills up and it, it becomes somewhat of a boom time. And, uh, but then the depression hits and Berkeley is severely hit by the Great Depression in the 1930s. Not only does everybody lose their job, but one newspaper article says that 90% of the city is now in foreclosure. There was a bank right on the corner of 12 Mile and the Street, Berkeley. The building is still there, it was the Berkeley State Bank. Everybody in Berkeley had their money in the bank, the city had their money in the bank, and the bank goes under like so many banks did in the 1930s. So, I mean, the 1930s were a very, very rough time. But slowly we come out, and of course, then the war comes. The World War II is just a major thing, of course. Then right after the war is the true boom period of Berkeley. Around 1940, 41, and then on is when Berkeley fills up as they build all of what people still affectionately call the Berkeley bungalows. These nice little two-story house, three bedroom, one bathroom. That's what so many of us grew up in. If you look at an aerial photo of Berkeley in 1940, what you're gonna notice is that it's mostly empty. There are some houses built in the 20s and 30s, but you can look down block after block and it's just empty. You go back and look at an aerial photo taken from the exact same spot 10 years later and Berkeley is full. It is one house after another. They are going up as fast as they can dig the basements and pour the concrete. With the explosion in population, the stores follow. And this is, becomes the classic period of Berkeley downtown. If you think of downtown 12 Mile, which was our main shopping strip, and within a few years, starting in the 40s, and early 50s, we get the Berkeley Theater in 1941, which is probably still the most recognizable building in the city. You get Kresge's Dime Store, you get Cunningham's, you get Nellie Davis, you get uh, uh, beer stores and meat stores. And it's hard for people to believe it now, but you could do all of your shopping on downtown 12 Mile. So this is really the classic time in Berkeley, and this is the time that most people who grew up here remember with so much fondness. But Berkeley continues to boom and other stores move in, and to this day we're still seeing stores come and go, and I suspect it will always be that way. Hi, I'm Patty McCarty. And I'm Dan McCarty. And we're the McCarty team with Keller Williams. We hope you enjoyed watching our mini-series about the Berkeley Museum. We've been listing and selling homes in the Berkeley area since the early 90s, and if you have not been in the Berkeley Museum, you have to stop by. It is a magical and very informative place. Thank you very much for looking in.